Hey guys, this is Gevork from Gev Loves Tennis. Um, this is the first kind of live instructional video that I'm doing for this channel. And uh, today I want to talk about a um, problem that uh, you see a lot with beginner players and intermediate players as it relates to the serve. They call it the waiter serve. And basically it's when, um, so normally, you know, let me go backwards so you see the racket. Normally, um, when you hit a serve, the racket is supposed to go down like this to your lower back area and then extend upward. Uh, and you'll see that with all the pros like Federer, Nadal, everybody that's a decent tennis player, they all have a good racket drop. But what you'll see with a lot of beginners and intermediate players is something that looks more like this. So it, it's like completely flat or just barely drops. Um, they call it the waiter serve because a lot of times it kind of looks like a waiter at a restaurant who's carrying the tray so it's kind of flat and parallel the strings are parallel to the to the ground so it just doesn't go down the way it should and um, um, there's a drill that I discovered recently that helps with this. this is a problem I had until probably six or seven months ago so I'm gonna try to demonstrate the drill the basic idea of the drill is that you um, you basically toss the tennis ball and then you uh, hit the tennis ball with your elbow and what that does it forces you to lead with your elbow when you serve and that's kind of what promotes the racket drop so I'm gonna take a few clips of me doing the drill so you guys get an idea of, of what I'm getting at I'll do some with with a full motion maybe and then I'll do some where I'm just starting in the trophy position and then I do the drill. So I think you should get a basic idea of what the drill is now and you should see from the video that when you lead with your elbow, you're forcing, when you know, you have to get your elbow out in front to be able to hit the ball with your elbow. You can see that it promotes the racket drop um, and gets a better racket drop. So if you do the drill enough and you start feeling comfortable with it, obviously the next progression is to actually hit a tennis serve. So instead of hitting it with the elbow, you know, you just go out and hit hit the tennis ball with the racket. So I'll demonstrate a few serves, um, a few normal serves where I just basically have the same motion where I'm about to hit with the elbow and then I extend the arm and hit the serve. So you see that and then I think hopefully from there you'll get a basic idea of what this drill is all about and how it can help with this particular problem. So hopefully from the serves you saw, you could see that the racket drop that I had was pretty solid. Uh, if you look at the pros, you know, basically everybody's racket drops at least to their lower back, um, sometimes even below that, depending on how flexible they are. So this is a really good way to promote it is, you know, because it's all about the elbow. It's all about getting the elbow going forward. And uh, the reason why you want to have a good racket drop is because, you know, it, le it makes the swing path longer and it allows you to generate more power as you swing upwards towards the tennis ball so what i would recommend is take a look at you know film yourself or have a friend take a look at how you do the racket drop because sometimes you might think it's better than what it is 
and then based on that try to always improve it and try to get to a point where you drop it down to your lower back so you look more like the pros. So if you found this video useful, um, feel free to like, uh, comment below if you have any questions or feedback, and please subscribe for the channel. Uh, I'm going to be making a lot more content like this. So uh, hopefully enjoy the video. This is Gevorg from Gevlos Tennis. Have a great day.